Hey y'all, this is Tyler Crone, the Digital Outreach and Instruction Librarian at Alera Library, and today I'll be taking you through a brief tutorial on how to access and use our ArtStore database. ArtStore is a great resource to use when you're looking for images and information of both two-dimensional and three-dimensional art. It provides access to over 1.8 million images in the arts, architecture, humanities, and sciences from a wide variety of sources, including museums, photo archives, photographers, scholars, and artists. To access the Art Store database, start on our UPike Library webpage. Scroll down until you see the research heading and select databases. From here, ArtStore is easy to find. Just look for it in the Popular Databases section on the right and click it. This will take us into the ArtStore database. Because I am on campus, it automatically identifies me as a member of the UPike community, which you can see in the top right of the screen where it says Access Provided by Pikeville College. If you are off campus, it may pop up with a UPike login screen when you first click on the Art Store link. In that case, fill out that screen with your normal UPike login info, the same way you'd log in to Canvas or Webmail, and it should take you to the screen I'm on. If you're running into issues with this, contact the library and we can help you out. Now that we're in, let's do a search. Start by clicking the Advanced Search link in the middle of the page. This will pop up a search box that we can use to find images that we're looking for. In the top left is a series of search bars, which you can put your keywords into. You can choose to search for these terms in any field, or select from the drop-down menu if you want to conduct a more specific search by the creator's name, the title of the piece, the material that the piece is made from, or any of these other options. For this tutorial, let's say I'm looking for images of Impressionist artwork. I'll start by typing Impressionism into the search bar here. Next, Let's look at some of the other ways I can focus my search. On the top right, I see I can narrow by classification. This refers to the type of artwork we're looking for. Now, I don't know much about Impressionism, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have much to do with either photographs or architecture, city planning, that kind of a thing. So I'm going to scroll a bit until I find one that I like. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, paintings. Let's go ahead and click on that one. Looking down a little bit further, the next option allows us to sort by collection type. This refers to where the image of the art piece is housed within the Art Store database. I'm going to be honest here, you can pretty much ignore this section. It genuinely doesn't have much to do with your research. The third option on the right allows us to sort our results by geography. If we're looking for artwork from a specific region of the world, this allows us to choose which region our results will come from. For our Impressionism search, let's try uh, Europe. And the last option in our search lets us select a date range for our results. If I'm remembering my own undergrad art history correctly, I think Impressionism was like a 19th century thing. So I'm going to type in 1800 for a start date. Um, 1800, let's say not BC, uh, 1800 CE. And for our end date, I'll use, uh, let's say 1950. And we'll stick with that. With all those sections filled out, Let's uh, roll the dice and see what we get. So this is a pretty typical results screen that we're on here. 
In the middle, you can see how many results your search yielded. Looks like we've got about 430, which is pretty good. If we want to narrow these results further or change any of those previous search terms we had, we can edit those on the left-hand side of the page here. See geography, classification, contributor, and date. Once we change those, we can hit that apply button and it will redo the search with our new search uh, terms. If we're happy with the results that we've got though, and I am, I'm feeling pretty good about these, uh, let's select one of these impressionist paintings from our list of results and take a closer look. Uh, these irises look pretty sweet. Let's uh, try those. When you click on one of your results, you see a larger version of it on the left-hand side of the page. Here, you can use your mouse to pan around the image or to even zoom in on some of the details. On the right side of the page, you'll see details for that artwork. This information is very important and you will need it for your art assignments. It shows the creator of the piece, the type of art that it is, the date, and a bunch of other important info. I would especially like to note the source and the rights sections. These will be very important when you go to site where you found this image for your assignments. The last thing I'm going to do is to show you how to copy, save, or download this image. To do this, scroll back up to the top and click the Print Preview button at the top of this page. From here, you can print it from your browser or you can right-click on the image to copy it or save it. And that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or would like help troubleshooting or using this database, feel free to contact the library and we'll help you out as best as we can. Thanks for watching.